Hey guys, it's Nadine again. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Now what I want to do is film the products video. I've got a couple of hours until the kids get back, so I want to film that, but I have to as you can see, the kitchen is a wreck. I've got to season the chicken, clean up the breakfast stuff. I have a million one of things to do, but I'm, we're gonna try and get it done so I can get this video up on Sunday. Gotta catch up with my Tony. So, the products we use, let's just say it is wash day, okay? We've had our rope twist in for four weeks and we are ready to refresh, revive, re-moisturize. So, what do we do first? First, I'll ascertain whether or not we need to pre-poo. Now, what's a pre-poo? Is it necessary? A pre-poo is basically just a pre conditioning treatment that you do prior to shampooing your hair and it serves two purposes one it adds extra moisture to the hair and two it kind of acts as a little bit of a barrier between your shampoo and your hair and its stripping qualities if we do need a pre-poo this is what i would use i would use a cheapy conditioner and some olive oil in a ratio of one to one so i'll put half of this this is the vo5 strawberries and cream and half olive oil, put it in a bowl, mix it, give it a good mix, and then I will saturate the hair with it and let them sit under a plastic cap for about 30 minutes. Sometimes I use heat, sometimes I won't. So that's pre-poo out the way. So next, time to shampoo. Okay, so for the kids, I will use this Shea Moisture Mango and Carrots. It smells so good smells so good. All the products I will list in the description area below. I'll use that for the younger kids and for my older kids and myself. We will use the Pantene Truly Natural Shampoo. I always found this really clean because it's getting rid of everything. Like you see it go down the sink. It's very satisfying. And since we only shampoo once a month because we co-wash during the month, I want something that's really gonna get our hair clean. I've also used this, which I enjoy. It's the Miyuka and Honey by Shea Moisture Intensive Shampoo. That's another one I also use and enjoy. So we've done the shampoo, really focusing on the scalp and allowing the runoff to do the rest of the work for the rest of the braids. Remember guys, our hair is still in twists. We do not wash or do anything with our hair outside of twists. The reason I don't shampoo in between the month is because the hair is in rope twists. I found it very difficult to get the moisture back in on every single strand. Like, so I, I could get the moisture, which would be the water, but then to cope with the conditioner, I found it difficult. So best to just use something like this um, As I Am Co-Wash. That's what we'll use during the week to cleanse the hair and to cleanse the scalp and keep it clean. And then just save the hardcore shampoo for once every four weeks. Now after that, hair is wet, what we would normally do is a deep conditioning treatment. Now, I'm all about simplification guys. I do not like to do extras. I'm not about the extras. I am extra, but I'm not about doing extra. So what I would generally do is do a deep conditioning treatment that does not need to be washed out because we're not getting back in that shower again. We're not doing that. <laughs> it's like four of us, that's a lot. And I got this tip from Rustic Beauty. Do you remember her, guys? Oh, gee. Put a comment down below if you remember Rustic Beauty. Oh my gosh, I remember rushing home from work to see what video she had put up. And she made the brilliant, I thought, suggestion of using products for your deep conditioning that you don't have to wash out. So I would use a leave-in conditioner, which is the Giovanni's Direct Leave-In Conditioner. And I would use our Shea Butter Mix. Um, I have a video on our Shea Butter Mix and I'm going to do another video on our reformulated Shea Butter Mix. And I'll leave that information on a card and in the comments section. So I think I've gone too far. So we've gotten out of the tub, our hair is clean. First thing we do, aloe vera juice. What aloe vera juice do I like to use? I like to use the fruit of the earth aloe vera juice, but I buy it in bulk because I love a bargain. 
I get this off Amazon and I'll put a link for that in the description. And there's another one I use, which is called George's, I believe. I'm out of that. And why I love that one is because it doesn't need to be refrigerated. I got that suggestion from Nappy Headed Jojoba. I don't know if you've heard of her channel. If you have, comment down below. If not, you really need to check it out. Awesome smart, intelligent, funny. But yeah, she, she suggested that brand and we loved it. We're out of the tub, we've washed our hair, we've spritzed with our aloe vera juice, deep condition. I'll put this on first, followed by this, put it under a heat cap and sit for about 30 minutes. And guys, I'm gonna do a video actually showing you because I know it's good to talk through, but sometimes you need to see. So look out for the video of me walking you through step by step exactly what we do with our hair. After the deep condition, I will put the hair up in a bun and begin working on the hair a section at a time. I will start on the back section. I will remove one twist, take out the shed hairs. If the twist is, you know, give me a bit of a hard time, I will, this is a very good for slip, the aloe vera juice, I'll spritz it and take out the shed hairs, then comes my next culprit, which is this castor oil. I use this organic um, sky castor oil. And I run that through the hair, starting at the tips, going, working my way up to the roots, and I begin to rope twist that twist right back up. Then I'll go to the next twist, undo that, and do the same thing all over again. I may also add some extra shea butter mix at the tips, you know, just for that edit protection, because the tips of our hair are the oldest and need the most TLC. So I do do the most with the tips of our hair. And that's it. I think I've shown you everything we use. So guys, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and sharing this video with friends. And um, we will see you here every Sunday. All right, take care, God bless, bye-bye.